欢迎收看 Minutes Mandarin Level Two Chinese. In the next three lessons, lesson 32 to 34, we'll be learning the usage of 了 Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. 我们上课吧 English speakers tend to struggle with 了 because 了 is often misunderstood as past tense. In Chinese language, 了 is an aspect indicating the completed action, whether this is an action of the past, the present time, or the future. The time word in the sentence gives us information when this action takes place. If the time word is left out in the sentence, we can simply infer when the action takes place from the context. 我们来看例子吧。Let's look at two examples of a completed action in the past. 第一个，昨晚我吃了两碗饭，所以还不饿。昨晚 is the time word, meaning 昨天晚上。昨晚，昨天晚上，我 I 吃了。吃 is the verb. 了 completed action. 两碗饭 two bowls of rice. 所以 therefore, 还不饿还 yet, not yet, 不饿 not hungry. 昨晚我吃了两碗饭，所以还不饿 Yesterday night I had two bowls of rice, so not hungry yet. 第二个例子是，我刚给他打了电话，我。刚 just a moment ago. The here is the time word. 给他 to him 打了打 is the verb 了 aspect of a completed action. 电话 telephone. I just gave him a call. 我刚给他打了电话 Now we will look at two examples of completed action in the present time. When this sentence pattern le is used in the present time, it's usually describing a habit or a routine of completing the first action and then carrying out the second, the next action. 第一个例子是，他每天起了床就吃早饭，不刷牙。他 he or she 每天 every day. This tells us it's a routine. It occurs every single day. Therefore, it's a present tense. 他每天起了床，起床 means get up of the bed. So 起 is the verb. 起了 indicating completing the action of 起。起了床就 then 吃早饭 eat breakfast. 不刷牙，就是他不刷牙。He or she doesn't brush teeth. So the English translation would be: Every day he or she gets up of the bed and then eats breakfast. He or she doesn't brush the teeth. 他每天起了床就吃早饭，不刷牙。他不刷牙。第二个例子是。我总是洗了澡才睡觉。我总是总是 means always the frequency of what I always do as my habits or routine. 洗了澡，洗澡，洗 is the verb to wash. So finish washing, complete washing. 洗了澡，才 only then only 洗了澡。才睡觉 the result of going to bed. So I always shower. Only then do I go to sleep. 我总是洗了澡才睡觉 Finally, we will look at two examples of a completed action in the future. Once again, one uses 了 to indicate when a first action is completed, one carries out the second action. 第一个例子是，我明天开了会就去找你
我明天 tomorrow, which is the time word. 开了会开会 means hold a meeting. So 开 is the verb. 开了会 complete holding a meeting, complete having a meeting. 就去找你 then go 找 to seek to visit a friend or someone. 就去找你 so I tomorrow finish the meeting, then I will come see you or come visit you. 我明天开了会就去找你。第二个例子是，我等一下，下了课就要回家。我，I，等一下，就是 in the moment, a little bit later, 等一下。Here is also the time word. 下了课, 下课 means dismiss class. So 下 is the verb. Finishing dismissing the class means the class is over, is completed. 下了课就要回家. Then 要 going to go, 回家, return home. So English will be, I'm going home after the class is over. 我等一下下了课 就要回家. We can also look at the English like this. I later, 我等一下, 下了课, complete dismissing the class, complete the class, 就要回家, then going home. As you can see from the examples, regardless of the time, le is used to indicate an action is completed whether it's in the future or in the present time or in the past. Be sure you subscribe to this channel and then like my video to support my channel and support Peggy Teaches Chinese. 我们下次见!